Welcome to the show, presented by VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. What's on my agenda? What is on my agenda? I have no agenda. In fact, this is me giving a shout out, a proper shout out to, wait for it, wait just a little bit longer, sport betting. Yes, sport betting, it's my time to give you a shout out because you're gonna make it possible for my dreams to come true. Yes, but it's not what you think. You're gonna make it possible for my dreams to come true. And it's not the fact that every ad that I hear, every commercial that I see, everything that's dealing with sport betting consists of winning. You know how much I like winning. You know how much I want to be a winner. You understand that it's winning and nothing else. If you ain't winning, you ain't worthy. If you ain't first place, you are first or last loser. But regardless, you are still a loser. But in fact, these commercials, these ads, they're saying things, you know, buzzwords about winning and being on top and ways to win and you win this X amount winning 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 that's good that's great that's amazing I have one actually I have multiple questions but let me start with one before I proceed on let me start with one if everybody's winning if it's all about winning and there are so many winners and this you do this to win, you do that to win, you play this way to win, you have ample amount of opportunities to win, and your winning is going to be exponentially greater than if you choose to do this, if you choose to do this. Well, I'm not the only one seeing this commercial. I'm not the only one watching the TV. I'm not the only one listening to the radio. Everybody can't win. There's got to be some losers somewhere. Somebody has to lose. We can't all be winners. We can't all be winners. So, who's the loser? I know, I know, I know. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Just hold that. Hold that thought. Hold the answer. We'll come back to who are the losers. But I must say, I'm definitely giving you a shout out because you are making a way. You are bringing me joy. You are doing the things that I was wishing, that I was hoping and basically begging for for a long, long time. You're making it possible. You're not, you're making it possible in a sense, you're making my dreams come true. And it's not the fact that I have a problem. It's not the fact that I have issues. It's not the fact that I am doing things that I don't normally do. Spending time, time's valuable, on things that I shouldn't be spending time on. It's none of that. By the way, it's none of that. And if I were to have a problem, I would definitely call you up on your offer. You know, the number that you give me and saying that if I need to talk to somebody, if I need to express displeasure, that if I need to just reach out and let somebody know that this is an issue, you provided that information for me. But this is not that. What this is, you're making it possible so my team can be good, so my team can be great because some of the profits 
some of the profits you are making is going directly into hopefully going directly into my team my sports team my sport team and it can utilize that cash utilize those funds to keep players to bring in players to pay players to do whatever it takes to win let's forget about the whole thing where they actually have to want to win that's a given that is a given and if it's not we're gonna pretend that it is that is a given for the sake of this argument that is a given for the sake of my happiness that is a given for the sake of time we don't have all day this is my shout out to you sport betting you're making it possible for my team to succeed you're making it possible for my team to be on top you're making it possible for my team to break in the franks that's what this shout out is for that's what this shout out is for those winnings that you're getting from the winners or the losers now we back to that question again this ample amount of moolah this ample amount of francs this ample amount of dollars that you are raking in or that you will be raking in depending on where you are depending on where you are that you're raking in you can't be getting it from the winners because the winners win you can't be getting it from the winners so where is this money where are these funds coming from is it coming from the winners who win less than the winners is it coming from the winners who win less than the higher winners where because your commercials your ads you're pushing the sport betting upon us fanatics you can win you have this amount of probability of winning you are a winner you win this amount of times so for the opposite opposite amount of times you aren't winning for the opposite amount of time you aren't winning or is it that you aren't winning as much and if that's the case if that is the case wouldn't that just be wouldn't it be easier to say you have an opportunity a chance more often than not to be a loser but I know, I know that's not how marketing works. That's not how PR works. That's not how selling someone on something works. In fact, it's what snake oil salesmen do. Is that what you are? Really? Is that what you are? Can I buy some snake oil with, with that betting apparatus as well? So when I play this game, or when I play these, these games, am I gonna get some snake oil at the same time? I mean, think about it. Or are all of this is true? And if all of this is true, what's the definition of a loser? How are we, how are you making this money? How are you making these francs? You're getting it from somewhere. It's occurring from somewhere. It's happening from somewhere. Please inform me. I can keep a secret. I can keep a secret unless it is what it is. And basically, we got some snake oil with those funds. Basically, we got some snake oil with the playing of the game. It'll be okay. It would be okay. And definitely something that I can look over. Definitely something that I could ignore. Definitely something that I could not pay attention to. How 
However, however, I must say, however, I must say, the thing that gets me, or the thing that gets me the most, is I can't escape it. It is everywhere. Every sporting event, every sporting game, every sporting match. It's sport betting this, sport betting that, sport betting, sport betting, sport betting, yada yada, yada yada, yada yada. And those were meant to be. No words. That was meant to come out that way. That was meant to sound that way. So please. Please understand that not every sport fanatic love and wish to bet. Not every sport fanatic will say betting, sport betting is something that I need in my life that makes me feel whole, that makes me feel like I'm a part of something bigger. If that's the case, if that is the case, fine okay it's good it's great it's it is what it is but for the most part we're being told we can be winners who doesn't want to be a winner everybody can't win everybody can't be a winner and what is the opposite of winning i can't wait for the answer but we all know what the answer is i can't wait for the answer but we all know what the answer is. I mean, seriously, seriously. Now, this is not supposed to go this way. This is definitely a shout out. This is definitely, what can I say? This is me bigging you up. This is me saying I respect and admire what you do. I respect and I admire what you do because you once again are making it possible for me to have a better team. You are making it possible for me to have a better team. I can ignore, basically ignore the fact of your tactics and the way you're doing it because I have no control over that. It's going to happen anyway. You're going to do what you do. I do enjoy, I am cool with, you're providing a phone number, you're providing information for those who need the information, for those who would need the help, for those who would need the special, special attention moving forward. Not everybody can handle the opposite of not winning. Not everybody would participate in a game of chance. Now, I enjoy game. I enjoy game. But when it comes to the game of chance, when it comes to betting, when it comes to saying, hey, this is what I believe and I am willing to lose this because I believe this in so much now I don't operate that way if you know me which you should if you know me which you should I cannot I cannot put my uh, blind faith in something that I have no control over me doing something like that me putting faith in something that I have no control over is just not how I'm made, is just something I can't do, is just not in my DNA, if you will. And no, I'm not talking about the song. And no, I'm not talking about the science either. If you know, you should know, and I just told you. If you know, I just told you. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the only thing that I can say, the only thing that I can plead for, the only thing that I can just hope and wish, if my team or my teams take those funds 
and utilize those funds to make my team better. I assumed that earlier for the sake of the argument, but now let's get down into the nitty details, the nitty gritty details of this matter because it is something super important to me. It is something that would definitely keep me up at night. My team not being good, my team not being great, my team not challenging to be the best, challenging to be champions, challenging to be number one i mean what would why would why would anybody pump money free funds basically into a team when they can take those free funds and pump it into their own pockets greed is one big important serious factor in this greed you can escape it only if you reach the point where you just don't give a you know what anymore and it's all about not the dollar dollar bill it's all about the clout it's all about telling your other billionaire friends hey watch my toy Watch my toy. My toy is better than your toy. My property is... You basically have to be that guy. You basically have to be that woman. You basically have to be that person. The one up. The one up. And being the one up, you would do everything in your power to be better than your other billionaire friend. It ain't about the money anymore. It ain't about who got the most billion upon the billions because a billion goes pretty far. A billion goes pretty far. So I'm told. So I'm told. It becomes a it becomes I am the best in the world. I have the best team in the world. I have the best team on the planet. I have the best team in the league. What you got? What you working with? That's what it becomes about. Because just a semi-billionaire who's on the cuffs of dropping back down to becoming a millionaire, their thought press, their thought process is basically, you know, I need this to secure my spot as a millionaire I can't put this back in the team I can't put it back in my toys I gotta put it in my pockets so I can I can maintain being a billionaire that's the only thing that I hope that's the only thing that I wish that's the only thing that I am truly truly worried about when it comes to when it comes to I lost didn't lose my train of thought but I lost when it comes to the sport betting and that's what I lost in that's what I lost in and that's taking an L how about you present those factors in your commercials. How about you present those notions in your ads? How about you say, even though you may win, which you probably not, you're gonna lose too. Or even though you lose, the losing doesn't stop here. Those funds and money, it is going straight to your owner, the team owner, the team owner, and he's a semi-billionaire, and he wants to stay on that level, and so he's going to keep the cash, he's going to keep the funds, and it's not going back into the team, it's not going back into the team, it's not going back into the organization on any level whatsoever, and how will we know this, how will we know this, well, that's a good question. Some organizations make that available. 
some organizations put that out. Some places require them too. Others, however, you're just gonna have to guess. You're just gonna have to use logic. You're just gonna have to rationalize this out and keep up with what's happening. Keep up with what's going on when it comes to payroll, when it comes to money going in and money going out. And if it's a publicly trading company, and yes, organizations are basically companies with, like, with, anyway, a companies, then it'd be easier. If not, you're gonna have to do your homework. You're gonna have to do your homework. And that's why sport betting, I'd appreciate a commercial like that. While at the same time, I can't say that I don't want you around. And I can't say that I dislike you on any level. Or I can't say that you shouldn't be around. You put out the information, whether it's factual or not, it's there, it's available. You have a number, a hotline where people can call and talk to you and address whatever issue they have. All of that's there. I can't complain per se. I just will ask after I big you up and after I give you another shout out. Can we get some snake oil with that? Can we get some snake oil with those winnings? Please, I'm begging you. I ain't too proud to beg. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.